Tesla is facing challenges, and this is the challenge that they were not ready for. A car is coming, a car that can throw Tesla out of business, and threat is building up, and it can be the doom of Tesla. Mercedes is not a company that goes on and does small things, it's a luxury car company. And this company dreams big, so big that when they entered the field of electric cars, they decided to go up the head and crush the range record of the best EV maker, that is obviously Tesla. So, what is this all about? Let's dig a little deeper and figure out what is going on inside the factory of Mercedes. Mercedes-Benz has built a prototype electric car that can travel over 1,000 kilometers on a single charge, marking a significant new milestone in the electric vehicle sector. The electric automobile traveled over 1,000 kilometers, or 621 miles from Germany to the French Riviera during the test on a single charge. According to the company, the EQXX prototype traveled from Sindelfingen near Stuttgart through Switzerland and Italy to Cassis on the Mediterranean coast. Because of the sedan's lightweight chassis and aerodynamic profile, it was able to finish the journey with a battery that was half the size of Mercedes' flagship electric vehicle, the EQS. The EQXX, according to Chief Executive Officer Ola Kalenius, is the most efficient Mercedes ever created. The technical program that underpins it is a watershed moment in the evolution of electric vehicles. Mercedes-Benz wants to invest $65 billion between now and 2026 to fend off Tesla and reclaim the title of the world's best-selling luxury car manufacturer from BMW AG. By the end of this decade, the corporation wants to offer entirely electric vehicles and has plans to set up eight battery plants with partners. After years of being chastised for being slow to accept electric vehicles, the venerable German brand stepped up its game last year with the introduction of the EQS, which claims an industry-leading driving range. The all-electric EQE sedan and the EQB sports utility vehicle are part of Mercedes's revolutionary thrust this year. On the other hand, Tesla continues to lead the pack in terms of EV shipments. Mercedes is attempting to demonstrate that it can outperform Tesla in terms of electric technology with the EQXX. The prototype traveled at speeds up to 87 miles per hour and arrived with 15% of its charge remaining. The battery in the automobile was created with the cooperation of Formula One experts from Mercedes High AMG's performance powertrain section in the United Kingdom. The cells are expected to be installed in Mercedes small automobiles starting in 2024. By focusing on simulations and digital design tools rather than physical tests and parts manufacture, Mercedes was able to reduce the time it took to build the EQXX from 18 months to about 14 months. According to Mercedes development head Marcus Schaefer, modern cars require shorter lead times so that they do not appear old when they arrive in showrooms. When it becomes available in the upcoming years, the Vision EQXX will easily surpass the industry average of roughly 300 km and offer more than double the range of its closest EV competitor, the Tesla Model S. It will be most fuel-efficient Mercedes-Benz ever constructed, according to the manufacturer, with an energy usage of fewer than 10 kWh every 100 km. According to data on Tesla's website, the Model S60 burns 18.1 kilowatt per hour over the same distance. Mercedes-Benz and its parent company Daimler have previously started that they by the end of the decade will be completely electric. All new car platforms will solely build EVs starting in 2025, with the combustion engines being phased out entirely by 2030. Marcus Schaefer, Daimler's chief technology officer, stated that a scaled-down version of the Vision EQXX using similar components and a small battery will be available in the next two to three years. However, he refused to disclose when the 1,000-kilometer range battery would be available on the market. When such a vehicle goes on sale, he says, it is a market choice that will be made once the car maker determines how much range buyers demand and how much they are ready to spend. In an interview, he also said, we need to keep up with what's going on in the software and technology side. And that's fast-changing industry. We need to be fast in our developments, much faster than we were in the past. So, let us now count down what we know and the things that we don't know about. We know the name of the car and that it is under development. And they are working as fast as they can on this ambitious project. We also know that by 2030, Mercedes is planning to go all electric, which is apparently a good thing. And many experts have already anticipated this. Now, things we don't know. We don't know when this car will hit the market. We know that a variant of this car with less range is going to come out soon. 
And when I say soon, I mean at least two years. We also have no idea how much this car will cost. Assuming it is from Mercedes, I can say that it will cost a lot. Since it's electric, you can add that to the bill as well. But here is one thing. We know now that it is possible to make a car that can go 1,000 kilometers, and other companies will also try to compete with Mercedes. And in the end, we will have cars that can go more than 1,000 kilometers in just one charge. So, why not just sit back and enjoy this battle of EVs?